as we get closer and closer to Christmas, the celebration of the Incarnation, the presence of God among us as a human being, we have this day to day when we hear the songs of two women who were blessed with children uh, by the power of God. We've already looked at um, uh, this theme in the Bible of the Akira, the, um, the barren woman who, in the power of God, gives birth to a son who becomes very important in the plan of salvation. So we have Anna singing God's praises. Uh, for her son Samuel, who was the beginning of a whole uh, new line of prophecy uh, and was the one who anointed the first king and so forth, uh, Shmuel. And his name means God hears, Shema. Oh. Um, and the song. It's about God's preferences. See, the bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strain. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the money, mother of many languages. In other words, this is the same theme you see throughout the whole of scriptures the great reversal. Just meditate, for instance, on the Beatitudes. Blessed are the rich and powerful. No, blessed are the poor. Blessed are those who are happy all the time. No, blessed are those who mourn. And so as we get near Christmas, you see, we're, we're meant to uh, enter into this mystery one more time. Because why? When the Son of God himself comes, he's a poor man. This is the Son of God, born in a stable, brought up in a town to which there was not even a road in his day, preaching, healing, moving hearts, but the powerful, want nothing to do with them. And finally they kill him. And then you see the plan. God raised him from the dead. And that's what we celebrate today. That God cares, you see. That's our, our lady's song. <coughs> he has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, she's singing. He has shown the strength of his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. So it's, you see, this is God's plan. This is the way God is. He has mercy on everybody. And we have kings who are canonized, Saint Louis of France. You know, but if they're canonized, then they fall under this category. They were rich and were kings and so forth, but they were hungry and filled with good things. Whatever they had, they had from God. Now, why do you think on the 22nd of December, we've got just a couple of days left before the Feast of Christmas, why does the church give us these two songs? Because of the song of the church. The church is supposed to be poor 
and have his strength come from God. <laughs>